Hey guys, so um, this next challenge or task in this book um, um, is called, let's see, I don't know what it's called, but basically it's going to have me draw this photo, um, but not to think of it as, as a human, upside down, it's not an image. Um, the goal is to just follow the lines as they appear on the page um, in relation to everything else. So how is this line going compared to this line versus this line? Um, and try to get in the zone of, try to shift yourself into the R mode, which is using the right side of the brain. Um, so there's a couple of things it tells you to do. Um, well, it says like you can start anywhere. Um, it doesn't recommend doing a whole outline because if you mess up the outline, then all the pieces inside are not going to fit properly. Um, it says if you're going to talk to yourself, use only language of vision, such as this line bends this way or that shape has a curve there or compared to the edge of the paper. Um, what you don't want to do is name parts. Um, what it says, it, it, because it re, to, tries to re-bring in the language side, which is for a lot of people, most people on the left side. We want to keep that out. So we want to talk visual. Um, what I did was I covered a lot of the drawing um, as I was doing everything. Um, I squared it out just a little bit. I don't know. Um, just to see. Well, this was round two because I, I, I tried it twice. Um, I'll tell you why. Um, so this is the challenge or the task. Draw this photo, but don't think of it in terms of um, what I already know name-wise. This is a man, it's glasses, it's lips, it's a suit. Like not to even think about that. Um, and do not turn the image upside down. So this is what I did. And interesting enough, um, so it's called the upside down drawing. So interesting enough, um, and, it, and it says that you need to be able to um, be in, not, well, undisturbed for an hour. So I thought the other day I would try to get an hour in when, um, um, when I thought I could. So I did, but I, I think there was part of me that was still like, oh, what if someone does try to get in, come in? What if, what if someone does try to talk to me? Um, and just even the possibility, I think, kind of disrupted my ability to do this challenge. I'm going to show you my first try, though. Um, I got I got pretty frustrated at one point. Then I ended up just stopping um, because I I knew I knew just the fact that somebody was around the house was gonna is throwing me off. So I needed to wait until today that I have the house to myself. So here is my first try. So you can see I started with the top and I kind of went down. Um, I know you can't really see it on the video, but but I've erased a lot that's in here because I couldn't get the hands correct. And I think part of that was because I knew I could be interrupted. I couldn't fully switch to our mode. I couldn't um, even imagine them anything other than fingers. So I kept erasing it, but I wanted to not discount what happened the first try. I, I want to make sure that I am learning from, from even a failed thing. Um, I know at the time, I, I knew going into it, just knowing people may walk in, I knew that that was probably going to throw me off, but I really was really excited to try this. So I, I did it anyways. Um, so, I mean, yeah, doing it when everyone's at work, I think is ideal, ideal time for me so that I can get in the zone and not worry about being um, disturbed. So as you can see, as I flip it over, there's the guy. Here's this guy. Okay. Not terrible. Mind you, I've never been able to draw. 
at all. I can't draw a fucking thing. Um, so even that, I was like, cool. Like, I'm happy. It's more than I thought I was going to get. Um, so today I made sure no one was going to be at home for a good chunk of time. No one's been home for the last few hours. Yay. So I was able to take my time and do this one again. Um, I definitely noticed being in and out of R mode, switch kind of going back and forth between R and L mode. Um, and I definitely had different like feelings and different like emotions while I was drawing. So you'll see kind of a change in just the way I was drawing. I don't know if that means anything. I'm sure it does. Um, but yeah, so here's, here's this one. So this is the one I did today, okay? This is the one I did last week. I thought there was some improvement. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm still not super confident about the, le the, li the lines in the hands and the fingers. So, so you can see some kind of really lack of detail in, in that square. But overall, I'm pretty happy. And that's going from drawing nothing. Um, so I'm going to share a photo of this. Um, I'm, I'm also going to go over it now. And you can see there's some lines that don't quite match up and they should, or maybe you can see there's a shift right here. I'm gonna go back in and see about maybe trying to line some of this stuff up to make it look like one fluent photo. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. But overall proud. Um, I'm looking at things a little differently. So, and that was the whole goal. Look at the sizes, look at the, how they're related to each, each other. And I definitely felt some improvement by the end, even at the beginning. Um, so, oh, I'm, yay! If you want to do this and you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out. I can, I can send you the directions. I can send you the photo. I can send you whatever you want. Um, so let me know. But yeah, yay me!